Good morning everybody and welcome to Sandy's Travel and Gardening Ventures. I'm going to take you around um, and show you everything that I've been doing and what's happening here and uh, giving you a general update on my garden and the work I have yet to do. So um, right now behind me I want to show you this iris right here that's blooming. It's really pretty. Hold on just a second. So look at the, her. Isn't she pretty? So. Let me pull it around here. So this area is just basically a flower garden that is overrun. I've not spent any time in it. I need to get in here and weed it out, redo it. But I'm thinking while I do that this year, I've got, since I have such an overabundance of free plants, that this will be the air, one of the areas that I plant them in. Um, it's far enough away that it won't get any cross pollination and I don't know you see up there in that area way way up in there I'm going to uh, I have um, tomato plants and um, up that way but I think here the heirloom will work here too I don't want cross pollination and there's plenty of flowers between here and there that's blooms that we won't have a problem with cross pollination so I'll probably plant somewhere in here in here six tomatoes and six peppers but I know it's nice fertile ground um, it's just been sitting here mulching and uh, but you see the uh, the grasses here the Lerope striped Lerope uh, they had gotten hey Bobby they had gotten snowed in and so these are going to have to come up and be divided and clean out all the dead in those so therefore I can actually pot those up and and sell those too uh, you know and just start off with something small again but yeah anyway let me get get to showing you other things and I've, I've got some other irises over there coming up all right, let's get to it. Okay, I'm really terrible with weeding, <laughs> but I cleaned out this space, and I and I have um, cabbage and lettuce, and I've I lost a lettuce there. I think the cat likes to sit on it. But anyway, I have my um, now these were part of the the free plants, so I have cabbage and lettuce. And then also in here, I've got some begonias and some grasses, and then I've got, get up here, I've got uh, mint in here, spearmint. So this needs to be weeded back, and we'll see how those cabbages grow. I thought anywhere else here it would get too hot and too much sun, but we'll see. All right, I'm over here by one of my lemon trees and this popped up out of the ground this year. And so, like I said earlier in videos, this was a plant nursery at one time, but this is the first time I've seen this one come up. And I've got irises everywhere, but isn't that pretty? I have to look and see what, it, what kind it is, but it started, I've been watching it for a week now. Um, the little one in the back there right there that's what they bought they've been the first two were looking like and so I've been watching and waiting um, my lemon trees here has not the blooms haven't opened up yet on them so they're they're still might be kind of cold for them to open up and up here hold on I'm gonna put I'm gonna pause this video while I walk over here to the garden or actually why all right well, anyway <clears throat> it's not that far so I have some irises right here in this section that have been blooming so I don't not in the shade 
Those are pretty in there. I've still got plants in pots laid around. So here's my garden. And you can see the potatoes over there while well, I get this a little chilly out and I did not get a jacket so I might have to make this short and come back out a little bit later. gate open. So here's the pumpkins. Right there, pumpkin plants. And here are my tomatoes. I'm sorry. Every video I do that on potatoes, potatoes. Say it real quick. <laughs> Keep saying it. They're coming up and um, so one of my, right in this area was one of the fingerlings, it did not come up. So the first couple rows are fingerling. And then we have the, uh, or first three rows, get out of the sun. First three rows are fingerlings. And then from this plant on right here is the red potatoes. Got a couple marigolds in there. Stevia. And then here are my eggplants. And I've got a Swiss chard in between them. And they're coming up alright. And then I have tomatoes in here. Still have to figure out a trellising system for it and peppers. I do have some Swiss chard, you know, through the, my tomatoes. And I've done a little bit of weeding, but I need to finish weeding and get some mulch around them. I'm waiting for the Swiss chard to get up a little bit higher um, before I put any kind of mulch on them. Garlic chives are coming up. And of course, I've got a small patch of dandy corn here right there with some weeds and got to finish weeding out around everything over here and then my sweet potatoes are going to go here and I'm going to put beans over in those we walk over here these are the two raised garden beds that I got completed and um, you see my beans are coming up on the back of the tomato plants and then I've got some marigolds in there so theoretically the beans are going to grow up and over the fencing I've got this box made well it was a box that was already made and somebody used it for shipping and then tools so I had six holes drilled in it and I'm going to cover that with some fat uh, fabric um, landscape shade cloth put that down in the bottom of it and then I'm going to fill it in with dirt because I have another thing of seed potatoes I'm going to put in there and here's a couple more tomatoes and again some my uh, pole beans in the background this section I'm going to get more core planted this weekend that first section down there was um, just really an experiment. Here in this container, again I'm in the sun, but anyway in this container, it's an old wheelbarrow. Um, it had rusted out and everything so I have put some dirt in it and I have um, loafa gourd seeds in there. Okay my, my fence gate is just fencing and a pole with some plant hangers that are holding it around and on as you can see like that and there's three of them but mainly I just do the top two this keeps anything from getting in there and walk over here the other side started weed eating out 
last weekend. I didn't do a very good job, but you can see the deer have already gotten to the tops of my sweet potatoes right there. So I definitely got to get them in the garden. Um, I left the the grapes, the cloth grate from on top of them. This I thought I had lost last year, this grape vine. I thought it was definitely gone, but it's back. And in here, I've got my carrots all the way down. And I've got onions. I have uh, cucumbers there. Those are Sumter cucumbers. And then down here I have move the hard work off out of the way. I have um, more cucumbers growing up there. Some dewberry vines coming in here also. And then I have like down here some golden beets thrown in here. Not all of them had sprouted. So I'm going to have to go in and re-sow them as well as weed in here some more. Grass is really coming up. But and then I've got a definitely weed over there. See the and then thin those out, those carrots out a little bit. And those are cos all different colors, cosmic purples, um, orange, white, a bunch of different ones. Very excited. And I'm gonna walk up to the front of the property and show you some other things that I put in up there. Okay, on my way up there, I'm passing the loquat tree and I got a lot of the loquats off of there that were ripe and I had made uh, loquat butter and that's in a different um, video. But I have more coming out. So there might be enough to do a second harvest. All right. Okay, this is the mulberry tree that I trimmed back last year. And as you remember, maybe that it touched and was up in those wires up there. So I trimmed it all back. Let me see if I can get in here and show you. Um, I've got mulberries and I've gotten a few ripe ones off. So far now either the the birds are getting it to them before me um, here's see there we go where they're just slow and ripening with the with the weather but it's very dense in there I had a couple seedling lemon trees in here that I got out of the pot. They were getting root bound in the pots. So I planted them right there and right there just to keep them alive until I found a place to put them. Well, I had a hibiscus bush die over here because the deer constantly ate it and then the frost. So the one lemon tree died back and it's coming out and you see the suckers coming up. Out of there. I trimmed off the ones down below, uh, but that's coming back out. And the other one I just transplanted yesterday, and it's uh, right there. So I had to cut off most of the thorns. <laughs> they they hurt when you try to transplant them. But anyway, got that in there. Got to give it another shot of water today. And. Let's see here. Greenhouse. Lemongrass. Here's the lemongrass. And it died back uh, this past year. And I took out one and went ahead and divided it up and placed it around the property along the fence lines and stuff. Some have taken, some haven't, um, but I'm going to wait till these. Get over here. 
I'm going to wait till these get a little bit more green on them. Then I'm going to dig them up and uh, sort out the dead and the alive stuff and, and place it elsewhere than this garden. <laughs> All right, here, more aloe, little baby aloes and stuff. That's the pepper plant that I saved out of the garden from last year. It actually lasted through the snow and started coming back up. So I put that in a pot. That's a jumbo jalapeno. And then here's some of the leftover from the one shoot of lemongrass that I had. And some have taken off, some haven't. I put some around the fence lines. But I'm going to let those get bigger. Here are some seedlings. These are two-year-olds and these are actually loquat trees and the rabbits and the deer love to eat on them. So um, I'm going to dig these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I got twelve in here. I'm going to dig these up and put them in pots or put them in lay them out and put them in an, in a uh, enclosed cage so they'll get some more height on them and do better this year and you see I have mint everywhere in this garden so it's going to be dug up here is one year old loquat seedlings in here now this is a pot I put some dirt in and I put the loquat seeds in there, covered them up. And so those will have to be divided out um, this spring, uh, definitely before summer. And uh, I'll probably lay those out like I did these, but in a different location. All right, that's it for this messy garden. Let me take you up more up front. I started putting this stuff up here with my fruit trees. Um, some of the those free plants. Let me first walk over this direction. This is an Anna apple, and um, you see the deer had eaten all the leaves off of it last year so it did not even bloom this year I'm getting the leaves back I have the cage up around it to deter some of the activity from the deer they're actually coming through that open spot right there in the fence and um, I need to fix that here these are the beautyberry bushes and I had scraped away all the the vines and stuff from around them and put down some mulch need to go back in and weed but these are the beauty berries and deer really like these the young tender leaves um, when they're first started out so I don't see where they've been munching on this one too much here's the lemon tree that I did purchase and bring up here. It's a Mayer lemon, Meyer Mayer lemon tree. So this is the one I planted. And it bloomed last year, but I have not seen, and I, and I did um, have um, one or two fruits off of this one last year, but I don't see any for this year yet. I don't see any blooms. Over here, I have three blueberry bushes. Make sure where I gotta figure out where I'm stepping on. Get out of the sun. Haven't mowed up here or weed it, so the grass is kind of tall. So this blueberry bush. This one I thought I lost. The deer and the rabbits really ate every all, every leaf off of it, but it's come back out. And you can even see it's got um, a few blooms on it. And then this one, too, is doing real good. So I've got squirrels over there. All right, so these are, it survived. 
what? of the the little in the little um, uh, tomato cages is um, pepper plants that had those were the cause um, darn it <sighs> cherry bombs anyway um, so I'll show you those some of them are surviving some have died which was expected so I will um, be replanting those I have some more still in the pots but here because I wanted to protect this apple tree it's a golden door set it has not leafed out it has not bloomed yet in its lifespan but um, just waiting it it's pliable it's alive so um, there's a sorry there's a um, I don't know if you can see it <laughs> crawling up there in the center of the screen is a spider anyway it's a clear spider but to per to kind of protect the apple trees and you know the deers out here you know they're just to eat anything so I planted a row of um, snap peas around the trellis so hopefully you know the deer has been munching a little bit on that but maybe one it'll save my apple tree and two I might actually get some uh, snap peas out of it but here's the here we have the pepper plants and I put the guard up over them to try to discourage the I don't know if armadillos would eat them but definitely the rabbits now like this one I pretty much I think I've lost it it's only got three small leaves coming out but it's it's been there so I've lost one two three four five and that one's still alive and the one on the end and I think I have another six pack back there that I could fill in for my idea is to just make it real busy in here that way the deer won't want to bother with it Let's see now over here I have on each end this end and that end down there I have fig trees so planted those this year let me see if I can get there so I planted that this year and then around it is the free cucumber tree cucumbers it looks like something got to that one just basically overnight hmm let me walk around this side. I know I have a nice garter snake out here, but it's the other kind that I do not like. They all scare me, but at least when I figure out that it's a garter snake and not a copperhead. So I'm very careful about where I'm walking. But anyway, I definitely have three cucumber plants that is gonna use the trellising for the the fig tree and then here's the better boys the tomato plants that some of the tomato plants that I got from the store that were all dying you see they they're coming out real good I lost one there I think it just got snapped off but it might come back out we'll see I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna keep watering and fertilizing it and we'll see how that does but there we go and I have more to plant. So, and here's the other fig tree. So what I'll probably do is come back out here and clear out some more land of the dirt from around and continue to plant down through this area. And each of these rows, I'm gonna put in some stakes and then I'm going to put them on string trellises. Hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's all different types in there. I think it's Better Boy, Better Bush, and then the Super 100 cherry tomatoes that I got. So Anyway, that's my garden update.
and uh, can't think of much else to show you right at the moment but that's what I got going on y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you later love you all bye